Dear viewers, hello and welcome. I am Dr. Sanjay Shah, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics, Adin Sukina Women's Medical College. Welcome all of you to our channel that is uh, News Zone BD. So, today my lecture is on drugs used in heart failure. It is a important one and a vast topic, you know, and we will gradually improve our lecture and uh, proceed on. So, today I am uh, going to discuss about uh, the introductory portion of the heart failure. You know, before going to the detailed discussion of the drugs, you have to know what is heart failure, what is the pathophysiology of the heart failure. Without knowing the pathophysiology properly, it is very impossible to memorize the drugs used in heart failure. So, if you know the pathophysiology properly, it is very uh, easier for you to uh, memorize or uh, think about uh, the drugs used in heart failure. So, here are two words, one is heart and another is failure. So, from that word you are uh, understanding that it is the inability of the heart, failure means inability, I am not capable, I am failed. So, heart is failed, heart is not, heart is failed, this is the heart failure, various causes of the heart failure are there, I will discuss it later on. So, when the heart is not a function properly, then what will happen? You know, what is the function of the heart? The heart is 24 hours it is working. It is pumping the blood throughout the body and maintaining the proper cardiac output. So, is there any, any failure of the heart, what will happen? The things will happen, the cardiac output will be decreased. So, when the cardiac output is will be decreased, there will be various symptoms of our body will be produced. Initially, there will be a compensatory mechanism, but uh, in the later on, it is not possible to compensate the decrease the heart failure and various symptoms will be produced. So, in such way, heart failure produce various type of symptoms in our body. So, so let us start, what is the pathophysiology of the heart failure? our heart already failed, then what will happen? Cardiac output will be decreased. So, when there will be decreased cardiac output, there will be two things here. Another is, this is the blood vessels. In the blood vessels, you know various types of veroreceptors there. So, when there is decreased cardiac output, there is under stretching of these baroreceptors. When there is under stretching of these various baroreceptors, what will happen? There will be sympathetic stimulation within our body. Sympathetic stimulation. Sympathetic stimulation. For that sympathetic stimulation, heart rate will be increased. That is tachycardia. It is the one of the compensatory mechanism you know. Another thing what will happen? When the kidney will not get the blood properly, kidney will think, what will think? There will be under perfusion of the kidney and the kidney, when there will be under perfusion of the kidney, what will happen? Kidney will secrete renin. This renin will responsible for conversion of angiotensinogen angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. From that angiotensin 1, angiotensin with the help of angiotensin converting enzyme that will be angiotensin 2. And you know this angiotensin 2 preferably has two functions and one is aldosterone related, aldosterone related. That is this angiotensin 2 responsible for release of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex. And you know what is the function of aldosterone? The function of aldosterone is one is retention of retention of sodium and water, sodium and water. So, when there will be a sodium and water retention, what will happen? Blood volume will be increased. For that blood volume increase, our preload will be increased, pre 
load will be increased. Now, another function of this angiotensin 2 is angiotensin itself is a potent vasoconstrictor. What I said, angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor. Then what will happen? There will be a potent vasoconstriction. When there will be a potent vasoconstriction, there will be increased peripheral resistance, increased peripheral resistance. So, now let us see what are the things occurring in the uh, decreased cardiac output, I am uh, decreased cardiac output, I am uh, telling again that is when there is a decreased output, there will be under stretching of the blood vessel uh, baroreceptors and our body will be try to compensate that under stretching and for that reason sympathetic stimulation will be occur for that sympathetic stimulation and you know sympathetic stimulation is the adrenaline surge and you know what is the function of the adrenaline adrenaline function function of the adrenaline is increase the heart rate for that reason heart rate will be increased as well as when there will be increased cardiac heart rate as well as a few cardiac output will be also increased for the compensatory mechanism but it is not possible to properly compensate another thing in the kidney when there will be a decreased cardiac output kidney will produce more and more renin kidney is uh, will think that i am not getting blood properly so i uh, it may chance of uh, decrease blood pressure for that reason kidney will secrete more and more renin and this renin will convert that angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 and with the help of angiotensin converting enzyme that will be formation of angiotensin 2. This angiotensin 2 is responsible for aldosterone secretion and you know what is the function of aldosterone? The function of aldosterone is retention of sodium and water and for that reason sodium and retention, uh, sodium and water retention there will be increased preload that is increased blood volume, increased venous return, increased preload. Another thing is Angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor. For that reason, peripheral resistance will be increased. For that reason, afterload will be increased. So, these things are occurring here. One is pathophysiology of the heart failure, tachycardia, increased preload, increase afterload, and for these things, another thing will be occur that is remodeling of the heart, remodeling of heart, remodeling of the heart. So, this is the pathophysiology of the heart failure in short. Now, I am going to discuss what are the causes of this heart failure, various causes of this heart failures among them uh, ischemic heart disease is the important one cardiomyopathy, hypertension, congenital heart disease and uh, another thing is uh, various uh, drugs, alcohol abuse and valvular heart disease. So, causes. What are the causes of causes of heart failure? What are the causes of the heart failure? Another thing, first of all, you have to remember the important one is ischemic heart disease. That is ischemic heart disease. So, another thing is cardiomyopathy, cardiomyopathy, another one is hypertension, another one is valvular heart disease, congenital heart disease. In medicine lecture, you will be know these things in more details. So, for your uh, earlier knowledge, I am discussing this, but not in the, too elaborately in the medicine, you will get more and more details about the causes of heart failure. So, now I want to discuss about the therapeutic strategies of the treatment. So, if you know the pathophysiology properly, it is very easier to memorize the drugs. So, therapeutic strategies is we have to now the drugs. One is we have to decrease the heart rate. Another one is we have to decrease the preload, we have to decrease the afterload, have to prevent the remodeling. 
So, these three things are the important one. We have to the preload. We have to reduce the afterload. We have to prevent the remodeling of the heart. And we, another thing is we have to increase the contractility of the heart. Contractility of the heart. So, these are the therapeutic strategies of our uh, treatment of the heart failure. If you know this the therapeutic strategies, is, it is very easier for you to remember or memorize uh, the drugs is used in heart failure. For that one, increase contractility. So, if we increase the contractility, what will happen? If we increase the contractility, then cardiac output will be increased cardiac output will be increased and uh, our body will get more and more blood and uh, symptom will be uh, reduced. Another thing is we have to reduce the afterload. Afterload is we have to reduce the peripheral resistance, peripheral resistance. If we use the peripheral resistance then it is uh, very easier for the heart to supply the blood to the periphery. Another thing is we have to reduce the preload that is we have to wash out the sodium and water from our body. Then what will happen? Blood volume will decrease, preload will be decreased and heart will be pump more and more blood to the periphery and symptom will be reduced as well. Another thing is when there is a tachycardia that is uh, your heart is uh, pumping about heart rate is uh, I think uh, that is 150 bits per minute or 200 bit, bits per minute, then it is not possible to maintain the proper cardiac output. So, if we reduce the heart rate, then it is possible, then it is possible for us to maintain the proper cardiac output. So, we can divide the drugs used in heart failure mainly into two groups. One is increase the contractility and others. In general, we are ten to telling that drugs having positive ionotropic effect, drugs having without positive ionotropic effect. That is, those drugs have no relation with the contractility of heart is known as drugs with without positive ionotropic effect. And another group is drugs with positive inotropic effect. So, let us start with uh, the classification of the drugs used in heart failure. So, one group is drugs with positive inotropic effect and drugs without positive ionotropic effect. So, these drugs are responsible for the contractility of the heart and these drugs are not relating with the contractility of the heart. So, these drugs will reduce the heart rate, will reduce the preload, will reduce the afterload, prevent the remodeling, remodeling. And this drugs is responsible for the increase contraction, increase contraction of the heart. So, this is the uh, main groups used in heart failure. In my next class, I will discuss about uh, these drugs in uh, details. Still then, uh, have a good day and bye bye. And one request for you, please subscribe our uh, channel that is uh, News June BD. And uh, if you subscribe that channel, you will get more and more uh, uh, medical lectures that will be very helpful for you. So, uh, take care and bye-bye.